Florida has a ton of potential when you're talking about solar energy, but we have not reached it. The question is, why are we so far behind? Solar in New York City is finally hitting its renaissance. While incentives, tax credits, and resources have been made available to New Yorkers for a number of years, it was really just a matter of coming up with innovative financing models that allowed New Yorkers to catch up with what's been happening across the country. In terms of good solar policy, Florida's really lagging behind. We're the sunshine state, we have all this potential. It really comes down to policy. We have, you know, almost 20 million residents and less than 12,000 solar systems. Building owners communicate and talk with each other about what they're doing to solve some of their costs and expenses. And energy is a cost that can be reduced through creating power on your own roof. Most places in Florida, community solar is not possible. Anywhere in the state of Florida, you can't do a power purchase agreement, which is a model that's been very successful in other states. In Florida, energy policy, which includes solar policy, is regulated by government entities as well as uh, the utilities. The utilities are monopoly entities, which means that there's no competition. And in the past years, political beliefs have kept the solar industry from moving forward at the rate that it could, but probably even more than political beliefs, we've seen economic reasons going back to the power company utilities because they have that utility, they have a revenue model, they're making literally billions of dollars in profit, and why would they want to change that up to have a more uh, solar-friendly marketplace? New York State has been an absolute bellwether among other states for bringing change to the entire way that energy is looked at, breaking the model and fixing it so that it can be more inclusive and taking in different sources of power rather than just the old coal burning model that we've been stuck with. So both New York State and New York City, I think, have been really leading the way. To really grow solar and to see solar really take off in Florida, you need to have good policies. We've already gotten to the point where the cost has dropped significantly, it's still dropping. We have uh, people talking about it, like everyday people. This isn't a hippie thing anymore. And we're seeing Florida moving in a positive direction. Mm -hmm.